Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Morgan Flowers and as you guys can see from the title, we're going to be talking about visual storytelling in three simple ways that you can enhance your video content, whether it's something for YouTube and you're vlogging, whether you're doing short form content, whether it's something sponsored for a brand, but let's get into it. Three simple ways. Let's go. So just a little bit about me for a second. I am a content creator. I've done sponsored videos. I love a good montage. I love a vlog. That is honestly where my heart lies and I really focus in on the feel of my vlogs and just how the audience is portraying my content. So these three tips that I'm going to give you are just things that I keep in mind as I'm recording, as I'm filming, very minor things, um, but I think that they can enhance your video if you also love a good montage and you want to get better at your vlogs and your short form content as well. So let's officially get into it. The first thing that I want to talk about is the art of noticing. You guys may have seen this trend on TikTok. It was popular maybe I think like last year um, but really what it is is just the small details the very little things that you pay attention to but I think that they help to give a well-rounded image of what you're trying to portray whatever you're trying to record these clips almost seem meaningless but I think that they help to just create more of a vibe more of an experience within your content when I saw the trend trending last year on TikTok these were like detail shots of things that maybe only you noticed these tend to include clips of like nature maybe something really small Maybe you noticed a bird flying in the sky so you captured a clip of it flying through your clip or maybe you see the leaf one leaf on a tree is a different color than the others so you captured that one leaf just something that you noticed these to me are honestly my favorite things to catch if my friend is driving and I'm seeing the sky and the clouds look beautiful I'm recording the clouds like just very little things that you notice key though keep the camera still I think that also <laughs> that also plays into it. It's very small, but keep the camera as still as possible. I can go on and on with different examples of different things that fall into the art of noticing. Um, if you see the wind blowing and the trees are just kind of swaying and you're just recording the trees, like that's the art of noticing for me. Other examples could be maybe your ice is floating in the coffee, so you're recording how the ice is looking in your coffee, or maybe the condensation on the side of your cup, like very little things that can complete a montage and just add to different add a different element to what you're trying to portray another example could be actually something that i do a lot if i'm in the car and i'm driving under a bridge i love recording as i'm driving under the bridge and you can just see like the shift in light you can see the shift in the sun you see the bridge just like passing through the phone like it just very very small things but i feel like help to create a complete picture and honestly these little clips can really help you stretch your vlogs too when you think about it say if you're at the grocery store maybe you're recording a vlog or you're doing like a day in the life and you want to show that you're grocery shopping record a clip of the oranges all stacked make it close up this is just like you noticing the oranges like something very small these are like just fill in i call them fillers basically just little ways to fill in to your montage take up space in your vlog and also just kind of like give your audience audience a little bit of something a creator that does this beautifully his name is Dion Hinton if you watch one of his vlogs you will see exactly what I mean he's amazing with detail shots like he captures things so beautifully he is a photographer but I feel like that's a great lesson for me just watching his content I'm like this is beautiful like it actually feels like cinema it feels like a movie because he's capturing the little details um, and I'm going to get into some other things that he does also and then some things that other creators do that I absolutely love and I think that create a better visual for your vlog, for your short form content. Or like I said, if you're doing branded content, this works as well. Another example could be maybe you're doing your skincare routine and you're doing like a serum. If you pull the dropper out of the serum and you squeeze it, sometimes it creates little bubbles in the serum dropper. But like little stuff like that, you're recording that little moment or maybe like the texture of the serum. Maybe you pull it out of the bottle and it's a little bit of a sticky texture so you can see the serum's texture. Like sometimes those little detail shots make a huge, huge difference. And I hope that the clips that I have on the screen are really giving you a good example of things that I mean. So let's move on to number two. Number two kind of backs up number one, but you can think of it a little bit differently. Number two is going to be consider your senses. I feel like this is really important for me because when you're watching a vlog, of course you can only see, but the things that you record should also pull from your senses and it'll help your audience kind of like feel like they're there with you almost. This will help with creating that visual story. When you think about senses, you think about taste, sight, hearing, smell, touch. 
I think I got all five. Um, but if you think about different types of detail shots, they can sometimes fall into any of those categories. Clearly someone watching is not gonna be able to feel, they're not gonna be able to smell. They're relying on the sight, but when you incorporate those other senses, it can kind of like add to the feeling of the vlog a little bit. An example of let's say touch would be like, you're showing off the fabric of something or you're showing details of the texture of something. You're giving that cozy feel. Sometimes I'll record clips of my bed in the morning when I first wake up and to me, it just feels it looks cozy like it looks like someone would be able to just plop into the bed like they can relate to the feeling of it being cozy and they want they're not able to touch it but you can kind of feel it through the screen another example would be sometimes if it's raining I will record the raindrops on my window that's kind of like touch almost it's kind of like it's a bit of sight but it's also touch because it's raining and it's wet outside right like so you're depicting that feeling if you want to tap into things like hearing and sound of course using music like the music that you choose for your montages for your mini vlogs that you have on tiktok the sound that you use can also create a certain vibe you ever watch something and you're like this sound goes perfectly with this like that is key too i also think that eventually some creators find their musical vibe like sometimes you watch a vlog and the sound that they use throughout their vlog just makes sense for them like octavia b if you guys are subscribed to her if you guys know who she is she always has like a jazz sound playing and i feel like that just fits her perfectly um if you watch like kyra i'm unique sometimes she'll have like a more of an upbeat sound if you watch phil Kofer, um he'll have sounds from like unreleased artists that you may have never heard of before but it also has like this very mellow feel to it so eventually i feel like some creators just kind of like find a sound and they stick to it below i will have a video linked of different non-copywritten songs that i've used in my vlog and also a video for how to find music on soundcloud that'll be below other ways that you can like consider hearing would be adding in those little sounds that play in the background like rain for example if it's raining outside you can hear the trickle of the rain in the background or if you're in the shower and you're doing some type of um uh, body care routine Hearing the shower sound in the background very lightly, I think really like warms my heart. It almost like, it's like oddly satisfying to me. Or like if you're cooking and you turn on the burner and it has like that click, well, for a gas stove, and it has that click, it's like click, 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 click. Like sometimes those little things matter to me <laughs> say if you're filling up a water cup and you're dropping the ice into the cup it's like asmr it's kind of like that same feel but just lightly just very subtly i think that enhances a vlog as well if you want to depict smell light a candle show the candle that you're lighting and even though the person may not be able to smell it they can read it and say okay it's real cozy in there right now i have a feeling what her house smells like right now or you're spraying on perfume i do this often where i'll like show myself spraying the perfume even though you can't smell it it kind of just like adds into the feeling of smell the last one that i want to talk about is going to be angle switching this one does not have to be obnoxious you don't have to do the the target switches where you're in the middle of target with your tripod and you show yourself walking down the aisle you don't have to make it super like public if you don't want to these are these are things that you can do simply right in your home um just using angles to your advantage um i love a good overhead overhead angle like when you're cooking Aaliyah's face does this if you watch Aaliyah's face she'll have the tripod over top of her and she'll just be showing her hands just like cooking love a good angle switch if you watch Monroe Steele she does this beautifully where she'll just be walking through her house and she's showing different angles it does take a little bit longer to edit but I do feel like it makes your audience feel like they're there with you and I feel like that's really the key when it comes to creating content and visually pleasing content. It also tends to give your visual content more of a movie feel because it's something that they do in movies, right? I'll be washing my face from the side angle and then next thing you know, I'll switch it to in front of me and then I'm washing my face in front of me. Again, it just kind of gives it a movie feel and just really enhances the look of your content, I promise. Now, I'm personally not at the level that some creators are at. Like, you'll see them get in their cars and you, you know they set the camera up and they're like backing into their parking spot and the camera is out. I haven't done that much yet. That's a good example of an angle switch. Phil Colfer also does that, but I'm not at that level yet. That does require a lot because again, you have to get out of the car, set your tripod up, 
get back in the car, back the car up. Like, you know, you have to like, you have to do a little bit more. I do feel like it's worth it in the end. Like when you put it all together and it flows seamlessly, I do think that it looks really good. Again, it gives that movie feel. It makes your audience feel like they're there with you. And that's always like what I try to focus in on. Think of POV, right? Like the ways that you can do this in your own home is again, you can show yourself walking into a space um, again, switching your angles when you're doing something. You don't have to necessarily do the overhead angle because that does require a certain tripod or like just certain gadgets. But say if you're like making a yogurt bowl, sit the camera over your yogurt bowl and show yourself adding in your ingredients, scooping out the yogurt. Don't be afraid to like show those different angles. An example of something else that you can do on your own would be like, say if you're making your bed in the morning, You'll be making it from one side. Maybe you're fluffing out your blanket. And then in the next clip, move the camera to the other side of the room and then do that motion over and just align it so that it looks like the angles are just switching. It looks like you have multiple cameras in your house. Like it just looks more professional. And those are my three tips. These are things that I keep in mind whenever I'm creating like a montage or like I said, short form content. And again, these are just different things that I consider um, from an audience standpoint. And I do think that they enhance the look of your videos and of your vlogs. So I hope that this was helpful. Um, check out some of my vlogs below and then you'll be able to see my intros and how I do them and how I implement some of those tips. And that's it. Okay, bye. Double text. Got me out of my element. I don't want to feel like I'm selling. Double text.